going on YouTube? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Real Rambo Dizzle. And we are, in fact, back with another video, Izzle. Say, bro, this is a video I know y'all been waiting on for a little bit of time, man. We gonna jump straight into it, big dog. So my EDC, you know what I'm saying? My, my everyday carry, if you don't know what EDC is, everyday carry. Something that I carry on my person every day, bro. We, we, we just gonna make this pretty quick, bro. We ain't, I ain't gonna do too much talking. I'm gonna just dive straight up into it. So first and foremost, before we even start anything, I just wanna give a huge shout out to everybody, everybody that made this video possible. First and foremost, let's give a huge shout out to Nautilus Ammunition, bro. Y'all know Nautilus Ammunition been rocking with your boy for quite some time, dog. If you need you some good ammo, good American quality ammo, y'all make sure y'all go check out Nautilus Ammunition. And I'll leave a link to every everything that I'm talking about in the description. Use code RRJ at checkout for additional savings, bro. Also, Arrowhead Tactical. Now, y'all don't know if y'all can really see. Hold on, let me... Let me let me bring y'all down real quick, dog. Let me bring you down real quick. So, Arrowhead Tactical, bro. Now, I don't talked about Arrowhead Tactical once before. Basically, Arrowhead Tactical is some EDC shorts or EDC sweatpants. As y'all can see, I do have on the sweatpants, and I also got the shorts. So, these are basically, you know, what I'm saying concealed shorts. You ain't even know I had a firearm on it. You can't even really tell I got it on me. It's got a belt on the inside, bro. Now, I'm gonna kind of dive into this here in a little bit. I'm gonna bring y'all a little close. I'm gonna show y'all, you know what I'm saying, how these pants work. But Arrowhead Tactical. Also, you can use code RRJ with Arrowhead Tactical to get you some savings. All right, man. So, for the last sponsor, the last sponsor is 945 Industries. Now, 945 Industries, that's where this bag came from. Now, a lot of y'all been asking about this bag. My last video slash vlog that I posted, y'all was asking me about this bag. Now that we got that out the way, let's just go ahead and dive straight into this video. As everybody I already know and everybody I already been asking, this sling bag, bro, no, this is not a fanny pack, no, this is not a purse, it's not a man purse, none of that, bro. This is a, this is an EDC bag. So let me just kind of run over the features of this bag. And this bag comes with a zip right there up front, little Velcro at the bottom, you know what I'm saying? You you get it, you gotta throw your Rambo J patch on there in the legally dangerous patch, cause we legal, legally dangerous. A zipper right there in the back. Now, I really don't use this zipper in the back too much just because it's it's in the back, it's, it's up against your body. I mean, you can use it for like your wallet or whatnot, but I don't really use it like that. I use my, I leave my wallet in my pan. Uh, but I do use this front zipper. I keep me a spur mag up in the front. You know what I'm saying? Keep that spur mag right there. Let's go ahead and just get that out of there. And it also comes with this extra little accessory case, accessory pouch. I guess that's what they call it. But you can also get this too. And let's just kind of open it up. So this basically is just like a, a a slot, a little a pouch that you can have for like mag, a flashlight, your wallet, keys, like any anything small, anything outside your gun. You know what I'm saying? You can throw that in here, and it just hooks on to this. It hooks on to this uh this strap. But me, I mean, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? But I personally, I don't want it. I don't like to use it. I just like mine like this. You know what I'm saying? It just, I, I feel like that's just too much going on on there. Some of y'all might like it, but me personally, I just, I like mine just like this. You know what I'm saying? I like to keep it, yeah, keep it low key. Well, I ain't gonna say low key, just like, I, I like to keep it simple. Put it that way, I like to keep it simple. To get this bag to work, now, we do have a pull tab right here. If you right handed, you'll have that pull tab sitting up. You know what I'm saying? And the gun, the gun is sitting in the bag like this. So it's not pointing at nobody. It's not pointing towards me or it's not pointing towards anybody. It's pointing down towards the ground. And once I get the bag open, I'll show y'all how that, how everything is. But if you're right-handed, you want to have that pull tab up. And if you're left-handed, vice versa, you want to have it, the pull tab up. So to get it to work, all you do is simply this tab, you'll pull down on the tab with your, your opposite hand, your, your non-dominant hand. You'll pull on the tab with your non-dominant hand. So I'm gonna give y'all a slow motion and kind of how it go. You come on the tab, pull down, boom, you're ready to go. And let me just show y'all that it ain't nothing in this. It is empty. You know, we gotta stay safe. But I'm gonna kind of go a little bit faster to show y'all how this go. So say you 
know what I'm saying? You out somewhere, you're chilling, you with your girl, whatever, whatever you're doing, you, you know what I'm saying? You out chilling. Somebody come up, you, hey man, watch out, bro. Oh, he got a gun. Boom. Pop, pop, pop. Simple as that, bro. Simple as that. This, this has been a game changer for me, bro. This bag right here has been such a game changer. And I'm gonna show you why. Well, that is one of the reasons why, because it's easy to deploy. And then also this right here, it's off. It's on. It's off. Bro, you can't beat that, dog. You can't beat it. You, instead of fumbling with trying to get your gun off or get it to fit just right, it's there, bro. It is there. And it's, it's not too big. It's right here in the front. Now, if y'all know me, Rambo J, I like to keep everything in the front of me, especially my firearm. I like to have it in the front. Simply because, say you, you get into it with somebody, you know what I'm saying? Y'all right here, y'all square up. You, you about to get him and you got your gun over here on your side. You carry six o'clock or whatever you call this. You carry right butt cheek, say that. You, you're right on your butt cheek right now. And you, you get into a scuffle with somebody, you getting on boom, boom, boom. You whooping him. He got a friend that come over here and he see your gun. Your gun come up because you, you know what I'm saying? You're scrapping with his boy and he come pull your gun. What can you do? You can't do nothing because you, you occupied over you trying to keep him away from you. So he come grab your gun, he got you. That's why I like to keep everything in the front of me. The bag right here in the front. You scroll the wind, boom, boom, boom. Can't nobody get this because your hand is protecting it. You know what I'm saying? That's why I like to carry it in the front of me. But back to the bag, man. So on the inside of this thing, how this thing work? All this on the inside is Velcro. So this holster that they got up in here, let me get that up out of here. And then do, you do uh, have an option to buy a custom holster from them. So this holster came from 945 Industries as well. So this holster, it got Velcro on the opposite side. So you just find a perfect place for you, zip it up, you ready to go just like that. And also, you have the option to put like an ulti clip or put like a claw on the front. So if you do want to carry this thing, I mean, I'm not sure how that'll work with the Velcro, but you can, boom, you can carry it like that, and then when you want to put it in your bag, stick it in your bag, ready to go. Simple as that. This bag is a game changer, dog. It's a game changer, bro. I, I, I really kind of slept on it at first, but when I seen it and I actually put it to use, this is the new way that I carry every day. I normally carry appendix, but now, I think this might be my new, my new carry, bro. My, my new way of carrying. But as of right now, they only make it for like smaller size guns. So like the 43X, Sig X Macro, stuff that small, it'll fit in this bag. That's what they make it for. But I think he said at the beginning of the year in January, he gonna come out with a bag that's a little bit bigger. So you can probably carry like a Glock 19 or something like that if you wanted to. Alright man, so when I'm not carrying in that bag, when I want to carry appendix style, like old school style, how I normally carry, I gotta have on the Arrowhead Tactical. You know what I'm saying? I gotta have an Arrowhead Tactical pants on or the shorts on because super comfortable. You never, you, you'll never know. Check me out. You'll never, you'll never know I got some up on me, right? You'll never know, bro. I'm carrying. I got a whole Glock 48 on me. Got a whole 48 on me, bro. But you don't even know that because I got on sweatpants. Oh, I can have my shorts on, which is Daisy Dukes. Had them on, you won't even know about it. Let's say you in a situation, somebody run up on you. Boom, I'm here with it. Pow, 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 I'm here with it. Let me show y'all that that's clear. Ain't nothing up in it. Ain't nothing in there. She is in the empty. But yeah, I'm carrying in some sweatpants, bro. And it's comfortable. I can move around, I can jump around. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can get groovy in these, bro, and nobody ever know it. Nobody will know that you got a gun on you because you got on some sweatpants. Use code RRJ on all these products that I'm showing y'all. Uh, these sweatpants, uh, Nautilus ammunition. Use code RRJ, bro. Use code RRJ to save yourself some money. Y'all know y'all want these pants. Y'all know y'all need some ammo, and y'all know y'all like that bag. I know you like the bag because y'all was asking me about the bag in the last video. Now. Outside of the guns, we got those out the way. Y'all know I carry the 43X and I also carry my 48. When I'm going appendix style, I'm going in my sweatpants, my Glock 48. 
done by Isotech Arms. Man, y'all go check him out as well. But when I am carrying the Pendix style, I do use this holster. Show y'all the holster that I use. This holster is a Houdini holster. Now, I don't know if y'all know about these holsters. It's kind of like a new company. He hit me up. He wanted to send this out to me. And uh, I ain't gonna lie, I like this holster because it's, it's super slim, for one. And this little cutout that you see right there, it make it a whole lot easier for you to draw. All right, so let me just kind of show y'all what I'm talking about. So to, uh, in a traditional holster, when you draw, you draw like this, right? Well, with this Houdini holster, you can draw like this, or you can power forward, or you can just break your wrist and it'll come straight out. Bro, I love it, because when I'm sitting in a car, I'm sitting down in my car, it, you know it's kind of hard for you to draw like this because you, you, you're kind of hunched over the gun. All I do, I just rock that wrist and he out. And then another good thing about this holster, say somebody got your hands or something like, somebody behind you and they hold, they hugging you and they got your, hand, got your hands and you can't really draw like this. You just get to that gun, break that wrist, boom, 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 you good, bro. You good, that's the good thing about that holster. So y'all go check out Houdini holsters too and just let them know that your boy Real Rambo J sent you, bro. Now, this is another one that a lot of people ask me about. This knife right here. Now, I'm not sponsored by this company in no way, shape, form, or fashion. Um, it's just a company that I seen at uh, a gun show. And, I mean, he did kind of give me a good old discount because he knew who I was. But this is a Cobra Tack. This is a Cobra Tack. Um, spring-loaded knife. Let me kind of get it to focus. A Cobra Tech spring-loaded knife. I mean, y'all know about the spring-loaded knives. Nice, cool little knife. Super sharp. Super durable. Super strong. Do anything that you need in a knife. I don't know how. I don't know what else to say about it. It's just a Cobra Tech knife. Spring-loaded knife. So when I'm not wearing the EDC shorts or the EDC pants from Arrowhead Tactical, I got on like some some regular jeans or some jean shorts. Don't y'all say nothing about my damn jean shorts either. I love my jean shorts. But when I got on my jean shorts, man, this is the belt that I use. And I'm not sponsored by them. I bought this belt probably about three or four years ago. Haven't looked back ever since I bought the belt. But the Trayvax Cinch, if it'll focus. All right, it don't wanna focus. But the Trayvax Cinch. So this belt is super duper lightweight. This is made from high grade aluminum. The belt is made from uh, nylon, I guess. I don't know what it's made from, but it's like a super durable belt, super cool belt. It's not too flimsy, but it's not too like rigid to where to dig up in your stomach. Um, I like this belt because not only is it like an infinite amount of adjustability that you have on you can you get fat one day, you can just open it up. You get skinny the next day, you can just close it up. Anywhere you want on there, you can just Weave it through that side, you good and you ready to go. And also, the buckle is super thin. The buckle is not real beefy and real fat to where you can't fit your holster over it. It's another thing I liked about it. And also, get this, bro. I think this thing was like 20 bucks. Like $23 or something like that. 20 or 30 bucks. I want to say $23. You can't beat it, dog. And an EDC belt, y'all know EDC belts are high. 20 some bucks, bro. That's the EDC belt that I use when I got on jeans. Now, Let's talk about ammo. Now, of course, I'm sponsored by Nautilus Ammunition. You know what I'm saying? So, it's only right that I carry Nautilus Ammunition. At first, I didn't carry Nautilus Ammunition because they didn't have the, the defensive line yet. But once they came out with the defensive line, it's only right. This is what them boys look like. I don't know if y'all see that. Um, man, I'm having hard times with this camera focusing. Okay, there we go. Boom, that's what the ammo look like. Nice, good defensive rounds. I need to try them. I need to test them out. I've seen them tested out, but I haven't tested them out myself. But that's something that I'm going to do in the video. And I also carry the Shield Arms mags. Never had any issues with them. People ask me, do you put your life up with these mags? Yeah, I mean, I've never had any issues with them. I ran them, ran them at the range, shot plenty of rounds through them, and I never had no issues with them. So I use this and it actually works in my 43X and in my 48. So why not? Now for the phone that I use, now I just recently upgraded. I just recently upgraded to the, the 15 Pro Max. Now everybody know about iPhones, iPhones are cool. Now the only reason why I upgraded 
is because, for one, the 12 Pro Max that I had, the sun gun kept getting hot and I didn't want it to blow up on me. But two, this thing got a crazy camera, bro. I actually shot a few of my videos on the camera out this iPhone. Them cameras is sick, though. They, 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 they a fool. The, 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 the cameras are fool, man. I, I, you can't beat it. But that's the phone I use. Not too much on the phone. Everybody know about the phone. Lastly, now everybody, I feel like everybody should have a boot gun, right? Got me a boot gun, and it ain't necessarily in my butt. You know what I'm saying? It ain't necessarily in my boot. But I do keep me a boot gun, and y'all already know what that is. That is the switch gun from Standard Manufacturing. Yeah, I, I carry this thing, and I'm holding five rounds of 22 mag. 22, man. Now you might think 22 ain't, ain't, ain't an act, uh, uh, adequate amount of thump. You know what I'm saying? You might think it's a little weeny round, but listen, I don't want to get hit with 22 mag. I don't think nobody want to get hit with a 22 mag. So I carry this on my person. So sometimes you, Rambo just might have three of them things on them at one time. Now nah, I'm lying. I never have three of them on me. Yeah, this is it's just like a, a nice little bitty. Look like a phone, you know what I'm saying? It's just a, a little bitty nice little gun to have if you want to go walk to your mailbox. You walking your dog, walking your cat, whatever you walking, you walking your girlfriend, whatever it is. This is a cool little gun to have on, you know, real quick. Pop, pop, get somebody up off of you. Now, I ain't saying you're going to put down the bar or nothing with it, or you're going to put down a 400 pound man, but you, I mean, you, you put it in the right spot. You hit him in the eyeball or something, but pow, you know, you get them up off of you. Yeah, so like I said, you can use code RRJ across the board for whatever products that you want. The pants, the EDC shorts, the bag, and the ammo. Use code RRJ at checkout to save yourself some money, big dog. Now what y'all waiting on? The video over with. Go, go on and save you some money. Use that code, big dog.